Hello folks, and you can probably already hear a plane in the background, but let's go take a look at my new setup. It's pretty ugly right now, but the goal today was just to get this AR-102 set up and working. And I'm going to worry about cable management later. And you can see I've got a, a power strip going on here. This handset. Okay, let's see. So here's the AR-102. I, I just, I, actually, I slapped it onto the AVX mount. Totally forgot to, to balance it. But you know what? It seems like it's tracking the sun just fine right now. So I'll, I'll let it go. And it, it's a terrible hazy day, so but this is just a, a test day to get everything working. I've got one counterweight on there, and let's see, uh, I've got two spacers extensions there, self centering. Then I've got the quark, and then I've got the ASI 183, and the Rigel focuser is working like a champ. I can't believe it. Um, I don't do autofocus, I, I I control it manually from inside the house, but everything is working, so I'm pleased with that. And this is my solar finder. You can see the sun spec right in the center. That's how I find the sun. So it's a pretty basic setup, pretty ugly right now, but I'll do cable management later. And right now, the sad part is I had to get the Rigel focuser running on my laptop. I don't know why, but it I could not get it to work on my desktop inside the house. So what I did is uh, I got it working on the laptop and it wants to run only on COM port threes. Okay, so I did that. So what I do is uh, I control the mount and the camera from inside the house and then I remote connect into my laptop to control the focuser. So for now, until I can figure out how to get it working in, on the desktop inside, um, this is gonna be my solution. And uh, all right, let's go inside, see what we got. Okay, so I am inside the house now, running from my desktop, and you can see I, I've got the sun here, and I'm definitely in closer with this new telescope, but you can see I am battling hay. It's pretty bad out there, but I don't care. Today was just a test day. Get all the parts working so I know what I'm doing for the next time. Then hopefully I'll hit the ground running that time. Um, so this is sharp cap, and I control the mount. Uh, you can see the sun disappearing, and I control the mount um, in SGP Sequence Generator Pro. And I'm in the control panel. I connect it to my AVX. Um, I'm in the control panel, and I just use these uh, up down arrow keys to go um, where I want them to go. And uh, I really must have nailed polar alignment. I just threw that mount down. Um, I mean, I rolled it out, didn't counter, did, didn't check the, the balance on the, the telescope or anything like that with the weights or anything, and the sun is just staying perfect in one spot. How lucky was that? Now, when I do everything right, I guarantee you the sun will not be sitting around there perfect. I'll screw it up. Today is just one of those fluke days. Oh, let me show you something here um, with the the focuser. Here's how I, I, I connect it into my desktop, uh, I mean into that laptop outside, and this is what that Rigel software looks like. I connect it to the, the focuser by checking this box. It's running on COM port 3, and then I just control the focuser with these buttons, in and out. So if I want to go in and out, I um, see where the focus is. Uh, and you'll, you would see, and let me show you, if I click on this, you'll see I'm starting to, I'll probably start losing focus. You can see that the sun is blurring out. I'm not sure exactly. I didn't try to get the, the focus perfect. I'm just experimenting here, but now I'm going back out. And I control the step size with this. Uh, I set it to 25. That seems like a decent number to go. And one more issue is, I'm really upset about this. I accidentally opened up my ASI 183 camera. So you can see now, I, you know, once you open a camera up for the first time, you're probably going to have spots. And now I, I definitely see I've got spots. Let me lower the exposure here. The clouds keep messing with me. Like I've got a spot here. 
I've got a spot here. That, that's, that's depressing. So I can either start creating flats or I can try and clean out my camera really good. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do because I'm not really sure how to incorporate flats into this. I talked to Jason about it, though, and he said just uh, increase your exposure. So, or, or no, he said blur out the sun so that you have an even field, something like that, and then capture, um, I think he said uh, check the histogram so that it's one quarter of the way, probably like it is now, and then just capture 2,000 frames and then incorporate that into Auto Stacker. Um, if I can't, I'm going to try and clean out the dust first. But if that doesn't work, I'm going to start doing flats. So, anyway, that's that's how that works. So, anyway, I, I hope you found this useful or, or entertaining. Right now, obviously, I'm not even going to try and, and capture the sun on this day. This is just a view in sharp cap. But I'm just glad I got everything working. Um... Uh, that's it. Okay, I'll see you guys later.